We don't want this because you're going to hold on. We want a weaker grip. We want it up here. You put it back. Now, that's, that's as simple as it can get. Now, we have a lot of sand in this bunker, so as you'll notice it's up off the heel almost because this bounce, see, see the bounce takes it out. See, now, if you have no sand, watch this. Now, this is what we're talking about. There's very little sand right there, right? The good old days. Good old days. Now, what you're trying to do now is you've got to create sand. So you want to get body to the left, open face. We want to get the weight way left. Notice how this ball's over here now. And then we drop it, see? See it? And Ooh, hold it. It went in. <laughs> <laughs> Again. That's how you do hard bunkers, you see? Uh-huh. So if you, if you have a wedge, you check, check your bounce on your wedge. If you have a 14 degree bounce on your wedge and you're a flipper, Talk to your pro because he, 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 if you're a flipper, you want your pro to suggest something with 11 degrees, maybe even 10 degrees because when you flip the club, you're adding bounce to it. Now, if you're a holder like I am, then you can play with a lot of bounce simply because you, you're holding the club and you're actually taking bounce off of it. It's very important, very important. Can you show me a flip and a hold? hold? Yes, this, this is what we call, watch, this is what we call a flip, watch. Watch your hand, one. That's a flip, okay? This is what we call, this is what we call a hole. Two differences. Same results, two differences. Any good bunker players that were flippers? Hard to think. So, I mean, I, I, it's very difficult for me. I, I don't know of any. That was there were great players. Greg Norman was a great player and he was almost a recoilist. You ever hear of a recoil? <laughs> you ever notice him? He recoiled it. He went like this, watch. He'd go like this. You see it recoil? That's how he played. Norman. It's the same as a holder, see? It is. Yeah. Very few people that were great bunker players, I think. Uh, Gary Player, holder. Best. Uh -huh. Chi Chi's a holder, but he's also a slider. Okay. See, Chi Chi goes, Chi Chi. Chi Chi goes this way. You know, he slides across, but it's, he's holding. He's not, he's not doing the flip. See, Gary Player, in my opinion, is probably the, he's he probably one of the best. He's probably the best I, that, uh, that in my era. Do you remember when you guys, when he was, you say teaching you, refining your game, whatever? Yeah, he taught me in 68. Really? Uh huh. What, say one tip or one concept really grabbed you the most back then? He's the one, well, he's the one that told me that when you get into a bunker, make sure you get solid. Make sure you dig in, okay? Now, you have to be careful. Once you make that, once you make that, you can't get up right. and start doing this because you're building a stance. You're going to get penalized. You got to be careful with that. So once you dig in, Gary says, Gary always said, and he says, also, he says, you want all the weight left. He taught me to hit bunker shots, watch, on one leg. He taught me on one leg right here. That's how he taught me. He says, learn to hit bunker shots, he says, on one leg. There it is. And that's how he taught me to play. And then it, I just put it, I just put it there, see? But that's, that's how, you, you won't find great bunker players that play back here. They're all in there. On the way next, a tip for your game from five-time